Hello, welcome back again. I think there's some network issues. I will be at my end, so sorry for that. So yes, you can join again. And uh, that's the second time we are streaming for today's webinar. And so we were discussing about the poem. So, I think we have restarted. I request everybody to join once again. And the stream has been restarted. Am I audible now? Please let me know. So we were discussing about the the poem called Heat by Hilda Doolittle. So we started. I think this is not a very difficult poem. It's easier. It is straight. It is it, it is not complex. It is kind of the normal language written in normal language that we speak. So, O wind, rend open the heat, cut apart the heat, rend it tatters. Rend means to tear. Fruit cannot drop through this thick air because, as because there is heat, fruit cannot, you know, fall. Fruit cannot fall into heat that presses up and blunts the points of pierce and drowns the gebu. Now, it is considering heat as something which is getting inside someone. Probably in that atmosphere, the heat has encroached that area or heat has, you know, come across that area and heat is forcing heat is forcing the fruits and it is pressing it upwards and it is blunting the points of the pierce that's pretty easier to understand it is round and it is rounding the grapes that is also very easy there is nothing nothing to make uh, any explanation that's that's that is self explanatory and what it is then or what is it saying cut the heat blow through it turn it on either side of your path okay now what in the last para the poet or probably the anonymous person is saying cut the heat in two parts blow through it like to, 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 to take something and it is asking the wind to flow such a way that it behaves like blowing and turn it on the either side of your path so if you if you have seen a furrow so you can understand when a boat you know sails through an ocean on a river you can see the trail of the furrow that is behind it similarly it is asking the wind to do the same like you behave like a boat or you you move in some way that in a fast in a very raised manner so that the heat gets torn part towards either side and you make your path okay and i think the stream again please let me know if my voice is audible and i welcome once again everybody please uh that for your patience so the feedback form is still remaining you need to fill the feedback form to get the certificates so yes cut the heat blow through it turn it on either side of your path so it is it's an open ended poem so you can think in whatever way you like and there is nobody which is who is confining you but remember that this belong to images poetry and you can imagine you can see the images you can observe the images that is being shown how the grapes would be rounded how they would be blunted pears would be blunted how this cutting off thing will be happening okay uh 
uh, how all these things will happen okay so so you can see the imagist point of view nobody has commented okay poet is not commenting anything it is just asking somebody to do that and at the same time you can see the image presented through the picture i mean presented through the words i'm sorry and uh, there is no rhyme scheme there is no meter nothing at all so that what it makes the imagist poetry and please comment please let me know that you are here and welcome once again everybody sorry for the internet connection i think something happened back there and this happened this happened uh, i think for the first time probably it happens because this is how the technology works we do not have any control on the technology <laughs> but that's 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 how the life goes on and one thing is there the show must go on whatever may be the cause whatever come whatever may the show must go on so this is what we are following so let's move on to the next poem so it is it is basically self explanatory we can see the picture depicted through words we can see there is no rhyming there is no meter at all there is some internal rhyming but that doesn't that is very very irrelevant or very illogically placed and that's not an issue and then if we move on we can see wind has been asked somebody is asking the wind to do that and that is also very supernatural somebody is asking the forces of nature to do something and to think at this level somebody has somebody has to be someone related to spiritual aspects i mean spiritual uh, related to spirituality as we have already uh, saw that uh, miss hilda do little was was considering herself to be a pagan mystic mystics are very different people like they have some peculiar connection with nature so in this poetry it is also proven that she is she is somewhat mystical she is somewhat spiritualistic she has some spiritualistic approach in her writings and imagism also confines to that in some way and the depiction of imagery is really nice here okay so once again i am reading a wind rend open the heat cut apart the heat rend it to tatters fruit cannot drop through this thick air fruit cannot fall into heat that presses up and blunts that points of pierce and rounds the cakes cut the heat blow through it running it okay there is a difference between air and wind when air starts to blow it is called wind okay that's the major difference so it is asking the wind because wind is blowing and it will take away the heat this is how it happens no there is high pressure there is low pressure where there is heat the uh, the low pressure wind would come up when 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 the air is heated it goes upwards and that air which is not heated which is colder than as compared to the one that is getting heated they come and replace and this is how the storms and everything happens so i think probably the concept of physics has been taken place high pressure and low pressure concept is there once the wind is heated it moves upward and there is a vacuum created or there is a empty space created and it is getting filled by the colder winds and this is how the wind blows and this is how sometimes the season changes so if if you have studied geography you would understand better what i am talking right now and i welcome once again everybody thank you for rejoining thank you so much so there are certificates as well but before that let's move on to the next interesting poem by oriard and i'm sorry hilda do little the poem is called oriard okay oriard so what is oriard oriard is a girl she has some supernatural power in other words she is a nymph n y m p h nymph uh, uh, from greek mythology who are nymphs these are girls with supernatural powers and and they are and in this poem 
this 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 girl probably hilda do little is asking is requesting the oria to do something okay okay now what she is saying will up the sea will will your pointed fines okay now let me tell you she is a nymph okay she is a nymph so let's understand what is a nymph okay so will your pointed pines splash your great pines on our rocks hurl your green over us cover us with your pools of fear okay so sometimes this oriad nymph generally lives in the forest or in the mountain or in some place basically these these supernatural girls which are called oriad it is from taken from greek mythology generally lives in the forest or some some very dark places or some very different places and they have some supernatural power and this poem an oriad is being asked to swell up the sea okay and they have some pointed pines so probably their nails and they are asking and 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 this this and this this poet is asking that to splash those great pines on our rocks hurl your green over us okay okay now what is green there we need to understand hurl your green over us hurl means to throw it with force cover us with your pools of fears okay cover us with your pools of fears okay and we need to understand what it is what what probably it could and then again again it is it is an open ended poem again cover us with your pools of fear fear uh, is basically a tree okay it's a plant and it's a actually big tree it's not a plant and as it is depicted already that she belongs to some uh, some place which is which is which is forest she would have those things related to him and if you can look at the picture you can understand what i'm trying to say so somebody is asking will up the sea will your pointed pines splash your great pines on our rocks hurl your green over us cover us with your pools of fear so basically what what it is saying there is no commenting it is just the presentation of the idea so there is no purpose there is no i mean there is no logical uh, re backward throw of idea there is no reaction there is just the presentation of the image so in here oriad is getting presented green over us cover us with the pools of fear rocks great pines splash your great pines on our rocks hurl your green over us cover us with your pools of fear so i think this is again an open ended poem so you can take it as far as possible as as far as your imagination is going or imagination is taking the meaning but the fact is this is imagist poetry it relates to the essence of image probably the meaning is generally out but the images are portrayed that is the whole and soul of the concept called imagist poem okay will up see will your pointed pines splash your great pines on your rocks hurl your green over us cover us with your pools of fur okay so i think it is clear i think fir fir i think it is very easy green or hurl your hurl you know what the meaning of hurl will you know splash you know great pines pines are pointed things okay great pines okay on our rocks okay so there is nothing as such very difficult in that you can take the literal meaning and you will understand okay so probably some people relate it to the world war devastation caused by the world war and there and there like uh, there are things that has happened and
okay so you can understand i think what is happening here so basically these are just the images poetry where imagination is taken i mean the colors are being depicted images are being depicted how it would look when she would put the great pines on the rock okay or or in the, or otherwise how they will pool the first the fir a tree green tree long green tree or they are asking us to cover us with your pools of fir and probably if you take the literal meaning of world war 2 probably she is asking uh, this oriad this matlab this oriad to do that like to protect them or probably take okay protect them or take uh, asking requesting for a shelter probably there are firing going on there is a world war going on so probably the, you can add this to that okay i think this is all okay and let's see like what we have understood till now i think it is pretty clear it is self explanatory and we will conclude the session now but before that i'll share the link of the feedback form uh, so you can fill and receive the feedback form i mean the certificates i'm sorry you'll you'll definitely receive the certificates after you fill the feedback form and i'll be sharing the feedback form so as i already told this session will be brief because because there is nothing as such but the fact is so i've shared the link for the feedback form please do fill it and we we shall close the session by 11:20 or 11:15 and and there is a session tomorrow that deals with the elements of a drama and i hope that would be beneficial for literary students as well so i have shared the uh, feedback forms link i'll also send the ppt don't worry about that yes i'll send the ppt as well and so don't worry about that please fill the feedback form so you can get the certificates and i have shared the feedback form it's link in the chat window itself you can do that i mean fill the feedback form and I've shared this once again. Not an issue. So anybody wants to write anything, they can. reply to the email that i have said i have sent